first camping trip of the season. We're taking the little little ones out here. Um, this is a cool little statue. Finn really loves this one. It's the big bluegill of Orr, Minnesota. Only if we could catch one that big. But uh, we're gonna be camping on a remote island up here on a smaller lake, and hopefully we get a lot of fish. And we're gonna do a lot of uh, walleye fishing. Yeah, maybe some pike. And hopefully you get some crappies too. So town of, this town of Orr, Minnesota, it's a cool little town. It's It's got an awesome lake just right across the road here also. I've fished that one a few times. But every time we come through here, we gotta stop and get a picture with the bluegill. And obviously we gotta stop over at Norman's One Stop over here. It's an awesome little bait shop. So if you're ever, if you're ever passing through here, stop in. Very friendly people, great bait, plenty of tackle, all that stuff. But, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get on the road here, and then we're gonna get to the um, landing and start loading, unloading the truck and filling up the boat. And we're gonna take the boat right to our campsite. So stay tuned for more. So yeah, we're driving along the Echo Trail here. Uh, seen some tracks on the edge, and they didn't. They knew they were bigger than deer, so they pulled over. And sure enough, it's a bull moose. It's a pretty good sized track. That's not quite as big as my hand, but it's almost there. Pretty wide. Definitely not no Alaskan moose, but <laughs> still pretty cool to see some moose tracks in northern Minnesota still. fully loaded up we got way more gear than I thought I mean I know when we we're packing away I was thinking holy crap I spent 14 days up Alaska last year I didn't bring half this stuff but yeah obviously with two kids and we got the dog with but boat's gonna handle it just fine we tested it out it's floating it's stable everything's good I think it's gonna be an awesome hunting boat but yeah uh, let's get out to that island and get set up before the before the bugs really get bad and the mosquitoes are already horrible out here so did bring some uh camp fogs so hopefully that works pretty good we'll see you when we get there this is, a is it buddy what do you like about it that it comes with the free saw i don't think it comes with the free saw i think somebody just left it here but little island right here on the lake that we are we got water everywhere. Look at, look at you, muscles. Are you helping daddy unload the boat? I've been working out. You're working out, or you've been working out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tough guy. Tough guy. Tough guy. Oh, you think you're helping? Chopping block. Put that over there. I'm gonna get my chopping block. I keep chopping it back. I keep chopping it. I keep Well, we're gonna I get some wood chopped. It. We got tents set up. We're gonna get some wood split up here, get it dried out. We're gonna go fishing here in about a half hour or so. Hopefully, we can catch a bu bunch of walleyes. Water's up a little bit higher than it was last year in this spot, but. I think it's still gonna be some good fishing. I, we've seen a few other boats out here. There's not a lot of people on this lake. It's it's a small lake, very beautiful lake. We love it here. It's peaceful. And it's full of fish. I got one. 
Finn. What'd you get, Finn? A walleye. A walleye. And what are you using? Minnow. Minnow? And a football. Yeah. You did that all by yourself. Yeah, Good job, bud. So we're out here on this little lake and we've been trying a few little rocky points and everything and um watch the hook. there's kind of fish all over from what we notice and that's what we've noticed in the past too a lot of spots out here there's tons of these about 12 13 inches in here if they're 13s in this lake we we take them in for a fish fry but uh I don't, see how much it is. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna weigh much but so it's a lot of rocks in here i've already lost probably four jigs so with the little ones we like to use slip bobbers out here slip bobbers work great i might even switch up to it this is the um, he just lost the fish like five minutes ago and just tossed back out and got this one right away so i think i might even switch up to it that's kind of the Wait. ticket isn't it bud he wants to measure it you want to measure it oh oh geez it's bigger than your tackle box Nine's right there, so it's another four, well, 13 inches. That's a perfect size for a campfire meal, isn't it? I think we're gonna throw it in. Well, we got, this is our third one. So yeah, we got three, this will be number three for the box, so we're gonna keep, I think we'll keep six for the four of us and be a good little short lunch tonight. Eddie's got one, he's got one. Oh, 15 there, 15 inch or so. You can take a light action JT rod here, little eighth ounce jig, pink and white. Boy, we needed one more for our fish fry tonight. That one's gonna do it, but we're gonna keep on fishing for a little bit. We got a little time. I just love how dark they are in this lake. Just, they're almost like, they're just black and gold. Pure white meat. Yes, the meat on these, I mean, it's coming out of this cold water. It tastes so darn good. But that's all we're doing is we just got on this spot. I came in here, had my side image going, and I just seen that there's this big rock pile. It's not even, like, this lake doesn't have much of a lake map. But this rock pile is just right out here in the middle of nothing. I mean, we got some rock, rock structures that you can see from shore, but... This thing just, it's only like maybe 15 feet wide or so, but it is loaded with fish. So we figured, oh, shoot, let's try it out. Sure enough, we're catching them on it. So after uh, tonight's fish fry, we're going to come right back to the spot when these things pick up and really pound on them. So we're going to get these fish cleaned up. We're going to have a fish fry tonight. We kept four for our meal. There'll be plenty for us. Hey, kids don't eat that much. Probably one fish piece. So we'll get these ones cleaned up and then uh Okay, get the, we'll get these ones cleaned up and we'll get the cast iron nice and hot with some oil in it. We're going to try a new batter tonight. We haven't tried this one before, but we can give it a shot. One thing I like about this campsite is this huge cleaning table. This thing's perfect. We can chop veggies on it, whatever we want to do, but better have a cutting board with it. Yeah, this lake is not known for uh, like big fish or anything. It's just known for having a lot of a lot of smaller eating sized fish. We just like coming here. It's it's off off the beaten path. It's, it's a very quiet lake. And we know we can come out here and catch a ton of ton of these sized fish. It's just a lot of fun. We always come here, and we know we always have fish. You know enough fish to eat when we're here. We always take a few home. It's not about filling the cooler when we come here. It's about just relaxing and having a lot of fun catching fish. All right, so now that the skipper's got all the fish filleted, I just come down here and clean them up. One of the things, you know, we camp in a lot of remote areas, boat in, campsites only. Um, it's one of the things that we enjoy but 
you know, keep in mind when you're camping in um, these remote locations, you know, you're going to want to take your fish scraps and go out a ways and, and dump them in the water. That way you don't attract any of the wandering critters that may be in the area, bears, you know, other, other things like that. And keeping a clean campsite, you know, um, we always want to make sure when we go anywhere, we're always leaving it in better shape than how it was when we got there. So picking up your trash, baking your garbage, putting your food up, locked away, things like that, it's it's all giving back. So we got a little one about ready to slide in. So here's the batter we're going to try. It's called Briggs Best Batter. Never had it before, but I've seen it in Glen's Army Navy in Grand Rapids. So we're going to give this a shot. I think it's made in... Where the heck was it? It said um, Lake of the Woods or something? It should be. Yeah, it's made up by uh, Baudette, Minnesota, so I like trying Minnesota products and I, you know, we love our batter, but I like trying everybody else's too, so we're going to give this one a shot. Uh, another thing, um, remote camping, is we'd like to pack somewhat light. This time, I we went way overboard on packing. You have to <laughs> when you have kids. Yeah, when you have kids, it's, it just comes to a whole nother level, but... So, here's a stove that I purchased... Um, Probably about six years ago or so. I just started using it in the last couple of years. It's a MSR Dragonfly stove. This thing packs up in a tiny little ball. And you just got, they got these little canisters. You fill them with um, kerosene. Uh, I think you can, it said diesel fuel even on them, but, or white gas. We just use um, regular kerosene in them. This thing works pretty cool. The other one that I like to bring camping is this tiny little pocket stove made by MSR. This thing folds up, and I mean, it's in a tiny little, I'm trying to think, but I mean, it folds up into like a little tiny ball like that, and there's a little case that comes with it. They're cheap. I think this one was like 35 bucks. Cool. And um, you just buy these little canisters that goes in, this one's like, it's like a six dollar canister and I think we get like probably four or five days of making coffee with this thing. That's what we use. We use it to boil water for coffee. We do everything in uh, this little French press for coffee. It's stainless steel. So it's, it's easy to do. And we prefer the French press. We might have to do a video. As you see we got our little percolator here also that we only use to boil water now. But we might have to do a video on why we chose to go with the French press over the percolator. French press just has stronger taste in coffee. And it's faster. I'm one of those guys who like leaded coffee. I don't like that unleaded stuff. <laughs> it, it's a, that thing's gotta be like, it's gotta be like motor oil. That's my kind of coffee. Where are you going with that? Where are you going with that? What do you got, buddy? A dead dragonfly. Let's see. We should use that to catch a fish. Food is good. What does uh, what does Asa say? Is it yummy? Was it good food, Asa? Is it yummy food? Is it yum yum? What was Bubba say? Drink once more. Oh. So yeah, we made uh, some fried walleye and we did some just cut up potatoes and fried those also. Kind of simple, easy meal tonight. We're gonna finish this up and hopefully get on the water for a couple more hours yet and see if we can catch a bunch more. What do you think about that? Oh, well, you wanna make s'mores? Well, we're gonna make s'mores after we get off the water. You gonna build a campfire? Yeah. Are we gonna build a campfire and make some s'mores? Oh, no more fish for you? Y'all fished out? Yep. Ooh. We can eat that in the morning. Oh, yeah, when you sleep in. What do you think, Asa? Should we go fishing? Asa, you wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? No. Oh, you want more food? 
Oh, you're fishing. ready to go fishing. She's ready to go fishing. Let's eat first. All right, let's 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 put the camera down. Let's let's eat. Oh, I'm second nice. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yes, hold on. Let me get set your depth. Let me reset your depth. Good job, buddy. Hey, Finn, what do you got going on up there? Did you catch any fish? Well, you pay attention to slip bobber that's sitting way over there. It's over there. The frog? We got one that's almost asleep. Bob rain down. Boy, it's just a nice night on this lake. The campsite is right on the right there on the tip of that island. One boat moving in here, but it is nice and quiet out here. Looks like a truck driving over the water, doesn't it, Finn? The car in Harry Potter? Yeah. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? When I was a little guy, we were camping here. We took me and Daddy took the two dogs out to get a drink of water, and I looked on the other side of me, and there's like a yellow and green snake right there, and I started yelling. Oh boy. The end. <laughs> That's right, there was that green snake, or that garden snake that was on the gravel, wasn't there? Yeah, remember I started screaming. Yeah, it scared you. And, I, and that's the end. And that's the end? What's another story, Finn? Oops. This one will be gone. A haunted story? Yep. You're going to tell a scary campfire story? Well, someone else is third place. <laughs> Daddy's turn. No, your <laughs> turn. I think we all told some tall tales. Mine was all facts. That spider was huge. <laughs> spider was big. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. I guess the Lord said that uh, this guy could live another day. But uh, we're up this morning, gonna have some coffee. Got this coffee boil on our little. We decided these dragonfly stove. We're just in a hurry to get that thing hot, but. We're gonna make some breakfast here. We're doing something a little different for breakfast. We never tried it before. So, we're gonna see how it turns out. We did a 
Alice said it's not a Scottish egg, but to me, I think it's Scottish egg. She said you're not supposed to fully boil the egg before you do this recipe, but... You did it wrong. I, I think it turned out, I think it's going to turn out just fine. I mean, we'll find out as soon as we cook their, cook our food. The kids get the vote on too, so... Well, I think our Scottish eggs are doing just fine here. So Scottish egg is something that uh, I thought about, we've thought about doing for camping for a while now. These are so simple to make at home. I also actually like kind of run down on how to make it at home, but basically these things, you, you make them, you freeze them, you package them for your camping trip. All you have to do is have a little pot like this with some oil over a little stove and you just pretty much, it's like deep frying them almost and here is the easiest way to do it. But pretty much anybody will eat it. It's sausage and a soft boiled egg. And did you do a soft boiled egg? I did a hard boiled egg. But... Well, breakfast is served. We got our <laughs> rendition. The dog sees seagulls down in the water. <laughs> but we got our uh, rendition of Scottish eggs. Uh, really simple. Typically what you do is just a soft boiled egg. Soft boiled. Justin did hard boiled, but soft boiled egg, you know, generally let them boil for about six minutes, roll them in cold sausage, and then you dredge them in flour and egg wash and then in panko. And then what we did, we put them on wax paper, we froze them solid so we can bring them with and they are cooked. We got some hash brown patties and of course I like a little kick to my breakfast, so I'm going to add some jalapenos in there. And we're going to get eaten. Get back out on the water and see if we can catch some fish. So, let's see how this turned out. Mm. That's good stuff. Typically, when done right, you'll open and the uh, Yolk will still be creamy, but so did I do a good job? These are actually really good. Um, I think we're gonna be doing this a lot more on future camping trips. All right, let's eat some breakfast. Let's get on the water. What do you think, Asa? You wanna go fishing? You wanna bite? Oh. You want to bite? She's going to eat it. Asa, try Asa. it. Want bite? No, oh, I think she had all her French toast. Mm. Got one, Mommy. Do you? What do you got? Oh, that one's pretty good. <laughs> oh, not that good, isn't it? Here's a big one, guys. Yeah. Oh, what you got there? Oh, you got a pike. Hold on, let me grab that one, Ken. Where you? Oh, you need the net? He doesn't have the big, big small one. Oh, I got a big one, guys. Oh, yeah. You got yourself a pike. everybody your pike wow guys you can catch this here <laughs> Jeez. watch the rod okay you want to kiss guys it does man bud Hey, check it out, Good job. Jesus. Yeah, we went back and forth here. We see on side imaging, we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. So, went to the last resort. I got the live scope on. Throwing some slip bobbers at them. What I'm noticing is they're coming right up to the minnow, and they're just swimming away, like a whole school of them. So, 
obviously I don't think they're gonna be biting towards the day, but we, I think we should come back here this evening. I think we're gonna get them. They're all along. There's a rock break here. It drops in, it's got like eight, and it drops into 13 feet, and this is a flat out here. They're right off the edge of this break out here, about 40 yards from it, and they're just moving back and forth. But like I say, we can put the minnow right in front of their face and they're not hitting it at all. Finn, what did you say the fish are doing? They're having a meeting not to eat. <laughs> it's right here. We got minnow or bobber sets right there, and they keep moving back and forth through here. Let's see if I can show you. So we uh, had a little slow day on the water, and we figured, well, heck with it. Let's let's quit early today. Let's go back. Let's relax around the camp, and um. We'll go out later on today. So we decided that we'll wait till right after supper time. We're gonna cook supper a little early, but what are we making today? Remember how mushrooms. Remember how mushrooms <laughs> are in there. This is a super easy camp meal that we make every time we go camping, at least one one night of, of the camping trip. It um I learned it years Ooh. ago. And I kind of just switched up. I kind of had started adding ingredients. The first way I learned it was just an oki and the meat and the onions. I like to add little mushrooms, a little pepper in with it. So all this is, is it's potato noki. You can find it in most grocery stores. It's kind of about everywhere. Um, right here we have some elk sausage that we got from a friend of ours. Um, most of you probably ain't going to be using morale mushrooms for it, but we had some to use up. Uh, we got the onions, yellow onion, and we got a red pepper here. This is super easy, and I'll take you through the steps on how we make this. Well, now that we got the oil hot enough, we're gonna get our gnocchi in first. Oh, here she goes. Oh. Dump it in. Just dump the whole container in. There we go. You wanna stir it up. One thing about milky is you want to constantly keep stirring this because it will stick to your pan if you don't. Eat. Right. So yeah, the, um, the telling and milky is, you know, getting pretty close to done. It starts getting a crust on the outside from the oil. So you've got to just, when it starts to get that little crust formed on it, that's why I like to add the meat. So let's get the meat in there, Finn. Throw a bunch in there. Hurry up and just give it. There you go. More yet. Put it all in there. There you go. It opens up the ingredients. Hurry up, let's get it in there, buddy. All right, a couple more pieces. There we go. Yeah, they just add the meat. Um, if the meat is cooked, you can add it um, more like with um, onions and peppers and mushrooms, but um, this ain't uh, cooked meat, so we're just adding a little bit earlier and we want to make sure we get this cooked. The same thing, you just keep stirring it. Luckily, this is a very good seasoned cast iron pan, so you don't really have the stickiness problem with it. If you got a newer cast iron, it's not really seasoned. We're going to want to definitely get that thing seasoned or just continuously stir this. Because that milky will make a mess on the bottom of your pan. Okay. We got the meat pretty much almost cooked here. We're gonna add in the peppers, onions, and mushrooms, so let's throw them in, Finn. There we go. Oh, one more in there. One more. There we go. And then we just continue to stir that. Oh, what does that look like? That look good? Trust me, this is one meal that you make this around the campfire, this is going to be everybody's campfire favorite. You can do this at home too. We do it at home, but when we do it at home, we add even more stuff to it. We get uh, fresh vegetables and stuff like that and add in there. Here's my plate, Daddy. Yeah, you got pink? You pick out the onions and if you don't want them. That's my pink. I want the onions. That's okay. pink. Yeah, you got pink? You got All pink? Right. You got your plate? Yep, I want a lot of this. Nice and it's hot. Yeah, blow on it, buddy. I really do. I want more, Daddy. You eat that, and then you can get more, okay? 
Yeah, you eat that Let's first. Help. Help. Let's let that cool down. Let's I'm going to get Mommy and Daddy a plate. Blow on it. Oh, I could drop hot still, honey. Hot still, me. Is it still hot? Let me blow on it. Oh, there. That's 13. Wow, just tons of these 13s in here. We might have a short lunch tomorrow again. Yeah, Finney's getting pictures of this little guy. See? Back around Winnie and we throw yeah. these back all the time, but out here, this is what you're going to have to keep for a short lunch. Is he cute? Is he cute? I think you killed your minnow. What do you got going on there? Oh, that's a that's a good enough one. Boy, we haven't we just put spot lock here and we've been here what two hours and it's just been okay. some consistent action. Yeah, we're literally right in between two two islands. The one we're camping on, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ace is gonna get it. You get it, Ace. Go give it to Daddy. She's gonna throw it back in the water. <laughs> so we've been spot locked here. Like I said, we've been here for a couple hours. It's been just pretty much consistent action the whole time. We're right in between two islands. The one we're camping on, and the one that's actually right behind me, a small island. It's kind of deeper, just out away from back in here it's like 13 feet deep it comes up on the other side right back over in here it's about seven feet so it's kind of funnels in here we've noticed after about five o'clock the fish started moving through here we have not moved and we're just watching the schools coming through on the side image and uh pretty much the last hour i just turned all the electronics off whatever they keep coming through here we'll just keep pitching at them our camp is right there. Yeah, you could pitch right from those rocks if you wanted to. There's a lot of boulders right in front, so it's kind of nice to get out here in the boat. Yeah, it's more of like a gravel bottom right here. So we just pitch up towards, towards the boulders and just kind of pop it back through. Okay. You just tell people what you're doing? So I'm gonna teach you guys how to bait your hook. Stay calm. Show everybody what it's supposed to look like. Your hand's in the way, buddy. Where is it? There, just like that. In the mouth and up through the back, right? Okay, okay, you're... bummed out about it. We, we always hate going home. But kid, uh, kids got school tomorrow and I'll stop. of course have to go back to work. And... So what we're doing this morning is we're just taking a lot of our leftover stuff like well leftover breakfast from yesterday, leftover supper like the extra peppers, onions, everything. We're making a breakfast scramble. We just took the hash brown patties, mashed them up, took the rest of our Scottish eggs, mashed them up and room in there, scramble it up, and go. It's always, that's something we always do on the last day. <laughs> Just whatever's in there, throw it in the pot. <laughs> but I 
I tell you what, Skipper, I'm looking forward to a blueberry beer. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Ely and we're gonna have, we're gonna, we brought some crawlers with. We always get blueberry beer when we're up here in the area. The boathouse. Oh, oh yeah. Finny's gonna get a little lantern, a camping lantern. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely head to Ely. It's about 40 minute drive from here. We're gonna wrap up our day there, then we're gonna head home. But Well, but, you know, as we kind of make our slow go back home and back to reality, we want to say thank you all for watching. We certainly hope you enjoyed this. We hope you're tuning in and watching more of our adventures. We have a lot more coming. Uh, we decided after this week weekend that we definitely need to do a lot more of this. Um, no exceptions. No excuses anymore. This is going to happen. This is what we're going to prioritize our time with our family and these adventures we have. Um, you know, so, bringing the kids up in this, this is a huge thing. A lot, they keep talking about how the, how kids in this world are not, you know, into this, like, remote camp area, camping in general, away from, you know, the parking lots and everything else. You know, you just got to get them out there. You got to teach them there's other ways of doing things. Get away from technology. The whole works. It's, this is what the world needs more of. These kids are just not getting that, and that's what they... They really need to get in touch with reality and um, outdoor lifestyle. Not one time did Finn ask for his pad. No, not one time. Our son does have an iPad or Kindle or whatever it was. Um, it is a Kindle, yep. And he does have that. And we, you know, not to say that we're saints, but we use it in moderation. He has time limits and things like that. And being up here, he was a little boy. Didn't ask for it once. He not played that. with the hatchet a lot. He played with the hatchet a lot. Played with a handsaw. We chopped wood. He had a, he had a great time. But and that. that's the thing, you know, kids will find ways to entertain themselves. We didn't even bring any of the any of that along, aside from two cell phones and a GoPro. But um, other than that, we want to thank you. Oh, your camera. Yeah, you have a little camera, didn't you? We want to thank you for watching. We hope you keep watching. Join us along on the next adventure, guys, and get out there. Break the chain of routine yourselves. Take care. You were thirsty. Weren't you? What do you got? What do you got? And how is it? What's the skipper enjoying? Oh, blueberry blonde. This is like the best beer ever. I love this stuff. It's made right here in Ely, Minnesota. Boat right at House. the boathouse. Boathouse Brew Pub. As you see, we got, we like this enough that we bring back our growlers to get them refilled before our truck back home. So we got three growlers going home with us. It's a must stop every time we're here. So another thing here at the boathouse is they got awesome cute ones. I love cute ones, and I had one here, shoot, they're going back like 12, 15 years ago. And they always make awesome food here, so the Cuban is what I got, and I love it every single time. It's the same as it does last year and the previous how many years before. <laughs> it's still good then. It's still good. It's always good. Still a favorite. Get it every time. I myself got the smokestack, which is actually almost gone now. But that is delicious. Uh grilled chicken with bacon and smoked gouda and jalapenos and uh, garlic aioli. It's phenomenal. My goodness, look at my hair. You can tell I've been camping. Hey, so how's that grilled cheese? <laughs> Is that good stuff? Can you take a bite instead of just licking ketchup and cheese? How's your food? 
Is it good stuff? He's gonna get me rest. Real cheese. No! <laughs>